Not far from the touristy spot of Hohai is Nanma Gushan. It's a narrow street lined with old hutongs converted into bars, shops, and cafes. And in the last two years, it has developed into a trendy area. One of the pioneers is Dominic Johnson Hill, owner of Plastic T-shirts. His shop features iconic images of Beijing and China on a T-shirt. And for him, the neighborhood was the perfect place for him to start his business. What I like about Nanagu Xiang is it's very different to many other hutongs or commercial hutongs and areas around Beijing. Uh, if you look at Hohai, it's predominantly bars and, and, and karaoke, stuff like that. It's not really very inspiring. Uh, Nanagu Xiang is, I think, is the creative hub of Beijing right now. It's, uh, it's not really suitable for bars um, so, uh, because there's a lot of small outlets and it's very residential. Um, so uh, right now um, it's, it's really taking the right path. PP from Grifted agrees. Originally from New York, the designer has found lots of inspiration around her, particularly from talking with friends and things she sees in the city. Her line of products includes umbrellas, greeting cards, lanterns, t-shirts, and dolls. Grifted only opened four months ago, and locals and foreigners alike find her items quirky and fun. It's got a certain community feel about it that you can't find, you know, well, I haven't seen it elsewhere in Beijing. Um, just everybody in the neighborhood is very warm and very close, and uh, that's what I like about it. Further down the street is the Pottery Workshop. The owner is Hong Kong-born Caroline Chang. She studied in Jingdezhen, a place renowned for its ceramics. Not only does it feature Cheng's work, but also local and overseas artists. While the street is evolving quickly into a new destination for locals and visitors alike, some shop owners hope the place won't become too commercial and retain its charm of old and new.